So this is a pretty exciting day for us right here. This is when it made the project pretty real. We got the grain, it arrived. The guy brought it in from Colorado. We were all excited because we were, today was gonna be the day that we were gonna start seeding out the machines and, and actually start growing a crop inside this building that we've been working on for a couple months. And anyways, as you'll see throughout the video, it's kind of a family affair. There's a whole bunch of people that are around throughout the day. So pretty cool stuff went on today. <laughs> We're getting an education on the seed right here. We don't know much about grain or seed or anything else. All we know is you plant it and it grows something. So this guy's giving us a little bit of information on that. Best part about this is, is none of this equipment had really been tested up to this point. We were just all assuming that everything was gonna work flawlessly and go without any problems. And before this, before the seed came out here, a few minutes before this, we turned on that auger and uh, someone left the, the, sh the door closed on the bottom of the silo. So we're sitting there with the motor running and the auger running going, where's the grain coming from? Finally, someone decided to go open the the gate on the bottom is pretty funny. And that's not where the problems stopped. They kept on coming, as you're gonna see here in a minute with the seed clear. It runs for a second and then shuts off. Good times. And like any project that goes on, obviously we have on our farm, at our place, nothing ever goes like it's supposed to. So we're all excited about this working out and fire it up <laughs> for like, what, 10 seconds? It shut off. He put the reset on the motor, Jonathan did. Turns on again, shuts off. Now we got problems. So when this thing showed up, the manual came and it said that that wire could be, or that motor could be wired two different ways, which we knew was possible. But me being impatient, I just installed the machine and wired it in, assuming it was gonna be wired for 220 volts. But apparently it was only wired for 110. So Jonathan was nice enough to tear the motor apart, rewire it, and of course I jump in here at the end acting like I'm helping out, helping put it back together to make sure this thing would run for us. Luckily, we didn't cause any other issues. So I could watch this process all day long. This is pretty cool, watching the seed come across the table and separate. So all that big stuff goes off there. There's another spout on the air side where a bunch of the immature seed, the really small seed, falls out, or it could be a whole different seed. And as it falls out over there, we actually use that. We put it on top of the hay in the mornings for the cows. And then the dust comes out the front of the machine, so. This is our fancy seed bin. We had custom built. Well, about 
4,500 pounds of seed. It's made out of stainless steel. <clears throat> we use some peroxide in the water when we're watering the seed and, and cleaning the belts and stuff. And peroxide and metal don't get along, but stainless stainless holds up. So we had it built out of stainless steel. It was it was real cheap. And now just a little tour. Those are our injection pumps for the peroxide mixed with the water and kind of a walk around of the machines and we'll get you some more video later on with them all seeded out, planted and harvesting. So thanks for watching.